Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about inventory filters. This is a little bit more advanced section of Facebook ads, but it's one worth mentioning and going over, at least so you know it's there and uh, when and when not to use it. So first things first, let's show you how to get to it. You're going to want to go over to your campaign section. You're going to want to hit create. From here, we're going to do a lead campaign and we're going to name it for tomorrow. So there's leads tomorrow. We did year, month, date, dash client name, in this case, ultra by rich, dash leads, dash form. So as you can see, quickly got our campaign and ad set names, copy paste them in and hit continue. From here, it's gonna ask you if you wanna do a manual or tailored, go ahead and hit manual. This is the campaign edit page. We're not going to spend a lot of time talking about this page because we want to get to inventory filters, but I have other videos that talks more about the campaign page and other pieces of it. If you are interested. Okay. So again, we're assuming you're using leads, you're using forms. We're going to be using the ultra by rich account. We're going to be maximizing number of leads. We are not setting the cost per result goal. We're going to come down here. We're going to start tomorrow at midnight we're going to run a hundred dollar daily budget and this is where it gets fun okay so i'm gonna skip the audience section for now and we're going to focus a little bit more on placements and this little link hidden at the very bottom of this page called so show more options and then as you scroll down, this is where you get access to the inventory filter. So a little bit buried, but once you find it, ta-da. <laughs> so you click edit on inventory filter. This is what we're going to be talking about today. So by default, all of the campaigns you create, whether you knew the setting was here or not, they are on standard inventory. And the reason why is standard inventory is excluding kind of the raunchiness and the edginess of Facebook. You got substance abuse, you've got sexual topics, you've got strong language. You can see all the edges of social media. Your campaign is automatically being excluded from. So, you can see why that most advertisers generally will just leave you here. Now I argue, let's go a hundred percent at full inventory. As long as you're not a super like family friendly or home friendly brand, right? Like if you sell diapers or kids toys or baby food, of course not. You may even go to the limited inventory. So again, this is why it's important to know this feature exists. If you have something that you're like, Hey, I don't want my ad or brand near any sort of topics that could be considered raunchy or non family friendly. So limited inventory. Again, you've probably been on standard and didn't even know that was there might be worth trying an AB test because if your demographic is more in the limited inventory, you're more likely to get better results out of that. Again, you have to do an A and B and test on your own. So create a campaign that does standard, create another one that does limited. You probably have a ton of data on standard inventory if you've done any ads at all. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one on one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. I definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it. Now, in this example, we're going to be using full inventory. Because again, we're, we're not here to choose what you're into. We're just okay with our ad showing up with other things that maybe other brands aren't. So that's really the conversation you're having here is, do you want to stay in the standard? This is the default. Do you want to go more limited or do you want to just don't care full inventory? 
Now we're doing some more tests these days and we're seeing actually some better results out of this because if you think about it, how does Facebook categorize this content? It uses its own AI algorithm to program, hey, this is full, this is standard, this is limited. So we're saying, hey, you know what? Take the night off. We're gonna run everything you got. So you can see where a cost per lead might come down in, in your actual cost because now you have access to maybe content it was deeming not appropriate before. And ultimately you don't care. That's not your discretion. You're not deciding what your customers are into or not into, you know, obviously this being a little bit edgier, but again, if you want to be family safe, use the other side of it. Um, but from here you can do a block list. There's some other options that are grayed out. But the bulk of the inventory filter and settings are all right here. So you don't have to worry about anything else. I do recommend spending some more time in the see the list so you can better understand if it works for you. And you know, you can see there's things talking about full nudity, excessive violence, terrorists. So just be aware that as soon as you do select full, it's just everything, you know, there's nothing off limits for you or your ad. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.